What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. Hey, we've brought somebody with us today. If you clicked on the thumbnail, you already know where we're at. Say hello to Bob. What you guys got me into today? <laughs> we're gonna get this thing dirty, I believe. This is the most back road driver driving that we've done so far on the channel. We're gonna fuel up real quick before we head up the mountain. But I do wanna say this video is like when you were a kid, buying a pack of ball cards, or maybe even like Christmas morning, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what you're about to get into, but you know it's gonna be good, and you're expecting a big surprise. So guys, let's go have some fun up on the mountain. We're pumped you guys are going with us today. This is the last asphalt you're gonna see today. We're gonna head up G2, go see the sights real quick. But we're off road just a little bit. I'd say we're gonna get a lot more thick than this real quick. What are you doing up here? We had to come up and show dad the windmills. You can actually almost see these from our garage. Wind Rock is just down the road about 30 minutes. But I guess if you drive an electric off-road vehicle up here, you just come and plug it up at the base of one of these windmills. Um, you can see how hard they're turning and how much power they're producing. I think that's how we're going to power all these new electric cars that we're making. And I mean, wind, it's just, I mean, somebody's getting rich spinning that thing right now, making all this power. So we're headed right over here to this overlook and it's a little froggy today. I mean, you can see a couple layers of mountains back through there. Maybe we'll see them better when we get to the overlook, but maybe it'll clear up as the day goes on. Dang, we're at 39 PSI. Of course, we've been driving down the road and they are warm. We're gonna air down though, guys. Get the uh, ride a little bit more comfortable and get us some more traction. I'm gonna be your guide today, jumping out, running ahead so you can see the Bronco actually come down the trail. Cause I know it's probably why you clicked on the thumbnails. There's a pretty picture of a Bronco and not a bunch of talking dudes. But guys, this isn't an, an off-road how-to uh, tutorial. It's not a, here's Windrock Trail G2, whatever. Like this is just us having fun with our dad out in the woods, learning how to off-road. So let's have some fun. You're not even in four wheel drive, are you? I'm in mud and rut, but this ain't really nothing for this thing. <laughs> I mean, I think Brad's having a rougher time than we are. Yes. I don't know if y'all talked about it already, but the F-150 coming out here with its long wheelbase, uh, it didn't like that little bit back there. And you were worried to death if you catch anything on those brand new painted bumpers too. Yeah. I think we had a little stretch here and then it just started getting a little bit more sketched. The, the overlook was um, clouded up to where you couldn't see. Yeah. It was kind of cool as the weather was coming in. But this thing ain't got no problems. I look forward to getting on something a little tougher here in a little bit. Yeah, the old F-150 wasn't going down through here too good. Now guys, I know everything seems a little simpler when you're looking at it on camera you don't see the extreme the, i guess the how much things actually drop off <laughs> he got me Good mud. No mucky. This is like light snackage. Yeah. I mean, I ain't you even. I ain't even tried to 
care where I put my tires. I had to drive up on that hill to give you a little bit of action <laughs> back there to make it a little muddy. And Coming through mud. that mud, mud. My Jeep would do that easy, man. My Jeep climb right over that. My Mangler will too. Your Mangler. Mangler. I guess that's the problem we always have to figure out. How do you convey what you're actually doing to people watching on camera, make it look fun, but show what it's actually like? And off-roading seems to be, from the videos I watch on YouTube, a very hard thing to actually show and see the actual extremeness of it. Unless it's those rock bangers that are just bouncing off of stuff everywhere. But we're gonna do our best today. We brought all the GoPros. Do donuts here, and <laughs> this looks like the surface. <coughs> so, this is the Wind Rock Overlook. We're kind of on the ridge top of a mountain, and you got a good 360 view. You got some windmills right over in there. It's pretty awesome up here, and it is windy. A little rock action. It ain't even there. Yeah, pretty much over that big one. Not have to scrape on it. This is the real overlook, I guess. Just gotta try a little harder to get up here. Wow. Trail G9 still, so we're, this is supposed to be pretty simple. Yeah, this is a gravel. Yeah. <laughs> Big gravel. Gra a, gravel I haven't been found a, yet. Uh, some two and three, two and three mix. <laughs> <laughs> Crush a run. It looks like they have to get out here and rake some rocks out here every once in a while. Yeah, because you get people in them razors climbing them, they'll just, Whoa. Really? Yeah. Sling the big ones. Yep. You mean people go up that? Yeah. Not in one of these. I would say that from this. There's people in the sun, or at some points in time, bring out those deals that it's like 600 horsepower. The wheels are like 50s. Mm -hmm. It's a cage that you're in, and it has hydraulic steering that front and the rear turn at the same time. And, and they they'll hit that thing and go. Whoa! And come up to the top. Whoa, 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 whoa. And just wow. land. I mean, that's the adrenaline junkies. This ain't much of a mud hole, but I want to see him come through it hard anyway. Breaking that ice up over these. Comment down below and let us know if you've ever been to Wind Rock or what off road park is nearby. Where do you go off road? We want to know. Oh, Nelly! <laughs> He about got me with that one. I think he was trying to anyway. This is a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> Push the screen off anyway. <laughs> I got him. Just so you know, every time we do that, we gotta get out and wipe these lenses down so you guys can actually see what's going on. We probably deserve a thumbs up just for that.
none of this has been that bad, but for this has been green. This is all green. <laughs> and they've got restricted all around this because they don't want you. I mean, I don't want idiots trying to go down in that gorge. <laughs> Why? So I need a helicopter to come get your shit out of there. Evidently, I don't know. So you say there's all levels of crazy. There's people that got those buggies with the crazy horsepower that four wheel steer and they go and they try to see how fast they can get up a hill they'll race up them and they might get to a point and they're going this and flip over and come flipping down the damn thing but they got competitions where they build the highest horsepower craziest damn thing you can find and see how fast they can get from here to the top of whatever and Hmm. I mean, they're just hitting stuff like bah, 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 bah. I mean, just smoke flying off the rocks where they're spinning and ca catching and bouncing and it's It's awesome to watch yeah, You need to find it. a video of that. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome it's to good watch to watch them do it. <laughs> yeah it's, Oh, yeah, they're a little muddy here. Yeah, let's hit that thing. Let me roll my window. Hold on. <laughs> I want to oh, it's still got ice, ice on it, it. Check out the mud water beads, man. This thing's got a stealth PPF from Expel on it, Knox Details, Knoxville, Tennessee. But it's also got a ceramic coating on it on every surface. That's pretty cool. All right, let's do it. Ooh, my feet are getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we found that mud hole, I guess. I guess you could call that a mud hole. Yeah. <laughs> This thing's been driven 999.9 .9 miles. We're headed up G16, says dead end. I hope that doesn't mean all the way dead. All right, we're about to hit our 1,000th mile. Uh, 999.9 .9 right now. This is what uh, the 1,000th mile looks like, straight up this hill. So we're on trail G16, it's a, a moderate trail and it's about a mile long, it dead ends up here on the mountain. This is our first uh, moderate trail, so we're going to take this to the top. Unless we don't. Unless we got to back out of here.
there it is. <laughs> Easy. Nothing to it. Missing one over here. Goat mode don't care. I'm just eating this man. I'm just barely on the pedal. I'm just riding up the hill. Under the mailbox, huh? Yeah. You don't want to drink a bunch of soda and come up here. Yes, beer. <laughs> Get you a 44 ounce slushy and <laughs> try to make this right. <laughs> Like we'll love to look it. over here. Mm -hmm. Take off see that. We'll still see that. We got where we're going to. It's just been while they're down, there ain't nothing to it. Might be the, you know, the background's in the wrong spot. Mm, pull right tire on that rock a little bit. Not a bad view. Perks of living in Tennessee. Yeah, I'd say if you come up here in a Honda Civic, you'd rub a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely, the clearance is what makes this so much easier. Yeah. Being up a little bit. I don't think we've hit underside really of anything. Nothing, you? yeah. Not rubbed really on anything. Trying to miss a few briars here. Gonna rub on this in a little bit. Maybe not. You got what an about? inch and a half over here, man. Good job. You have to hold your tongue out to do that. There's a payoff at the end. Like what? Another, trophy? Another view. Yeah, trophy. Yeah, trophy. Some golden coins. Participation trophy. Bit mount. Big mount. Bit coin. Bit. Coin. Bit. What do they call it? Bit. Bit coin. We're going to hit. Oh. I'm missing over here. Good. You can come this way. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Guys, it ain't looking good for the brand new first edition Bronco. It's just more briars all the way up through here. You guys, come all the way up here over all these rocks and you're going to let two little limbs stop you from getting top of this hill. <laughs> Well, it's your Bronco, so I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, big nasty branches down the side is the way to go. Not this time, but the 96 Bronco, we just ram well, it up through we, there. We'd spread this trail out for him with it, I believe. We got to get that thing ready. I thought we'd put some clear bra on this thing. We did. Let's keep it on there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Home back. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. A little bit more, that's probably good. We don't want to come down this. Put the trail turn assist on. Hit the button. Yeah! Look at these pretty windmills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many of them are spinning? None. I'm glad we invested that money in wind. Well, we're not needing much power today. <laughs> yeah, because we got gas. We got gas. Let's climb a few little rocks here. Oh, 
up here at the top of the world we're gonna do a little rock crawling but brad and dad are so let's see what happens here You want to put a tire here? I go clear. Stay away from that rock, and that way you're cutting in here. We we'll get over some. Use that official language, driver. Driver. Come up the hill. Now cut. Now cut. Come up here. Passenger. Passenger, Sam. Passenger. Beautiful. Beautiful. beautiful Clark, beautiful Clark. So I gotta say, looking up at something like that, I hope you can tell on camera, I mean, we just, it's probably what, 20 foot yeah. that we climbed. It's a whole lot different in person. I did not think that this Bronco would just chew that right up. We'll talk about how easy this has been in just a second. I don't even know if we put this thing in four low more than maybe once today. This was a light snack for the Bronco guys. Had a lot of fun, but here at the end when we were doing a little rock crawling was probably the hardest thing for, for the Bronco today, but it just went right on up the hill. So we've not even scratched the surface with what this thing's capable of. I think our limiting factor may be the paint job on this thing. <laughs> what do you guys think? Guys, I've never done this before. And so I didn't know what to expect. Felt pretty good life in the fast lane. And right over there is a big missile. <laughs> Oak Ridge, baby. I'm glad we finally actually got off road in this thing. It's uh, we've been in other people's Broncos with Ford Bronco Nation people driving, but hey, this was pretty awesome. I think we're going to make more trips up here. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe down below. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.